Hey, Laz here. Today we're going to show you how to unpackage your vanity cabinetry and stone top. Here we are in the warehouse where we package and ship your product to you. And what we want to do is show you when you receive our product, how you are going to remove it from the packaging. One of the first things you do before the delivery guy leaves is inspect your product. Take your hand, make sure that the stone that you have is intact, there are no cracks. Once you've ensured that the top is in one piece, make sure that you at the same time take a look at the packaging. If you notice any damages to the packaging, open up the packaging on the spot, see if there's any kind of damage to the product itself. If there is any serious damage, notify the driver. At that point, he'll tell you what to do. If it's just a door that's damaged or whatnot, keep the product, we'll make arrangements to get a new door to you. Now that you've accepted the product, let's go ahead and open up the packaging. What you would do first of all is pull the plastic away from the pallet and slowly start to cut on the back side of the product so you're not damaging the product itself. Remove the plastic. Once you remove the plastic, you must remove the strap which is holding the countertop to the pallet. Take a pair of snips and cut off the thing. Once you've done this, you can then remove this from the pallet and place it to the side. Once you've removed the countertop from the pallet, slowly place it on the ground. The, the, grit, the stone itself is protected with these four corners. Make sure it's on a flat surface. Once it's down here, you can see that your backsplash and side splash are protected with a two by two piece of wood. Remove that piece of wood by take, taking out the screws. Remove the screws, remove the piece of wood. You now have access to your backsplash and your side splash. Slowly remove these and place them on a flat surface again to protect them. Again, always being careful not to damage the product. To remove the actual top from the box, you have to continue taking out the screws. There's some more supports in here. You can now take the countertop out of the packaging. And again, it's a two-person job just to protect yourself and the top. You've now removed it. Take it and place it up against the wall out of the way so we're ready to take out the cabinet. Once you've removed the top, you can now proceed to taking apart the packaging from the cabinet itself. Always remember to remove from the back when you're taking the packaging off so you're not damaging the top of the cabinet itself. So cut away the tape. If you had if you've ordered any filler strips, they will be located within the cabinet. Remove that, put it, put it on the side. So once you've cut away the tape from the back again, make sure you're careful not to damage the top in any way. Remove the packaging. And now you're able to take off the remainder of the packaging and remove it from the pallet. Once you've received your cabinet and you've opened it up from the packaging, open the top drawer. Inside the drawer, you will find any loose handles or anything of that nature in a bag attached to the drawer. Uh, Touch-up marker, as along with care and maintenance information and adjustments to the door and drawers. Remember, when you're using a utility blade to open the package, it's so easy to damage the product itself, so be careful. Take the proper precautions to open from the back, slowly and carefully. The most important part of removing everything from the pallet is remove your stone top first. That's the most important thing, because if you do not remove the stone top, you take off the cabinet, it's possible that the stone can fall down and damage, and we don't want that. These little plastic feet at the bottom of the cabinets are installed to protect the cabinet during transportation. It's up to you if you want to keep them on there. The pros of having them on there is it's slightly off the ground to protect from any moisture on your flooring. And the, the cons would be that if you left them on, 
uh, the, you know, it would, you would see a little bit of a gap on the bottom of the cabinet when you install it. So it's up to you if you want to remove it or leave them on. And you're ready to install.